Hello friends suppose you have a piece of land and you intend to construct a house or building there how many floors are permissible for construction in the building can you utilize 100% of your plot area for construction what is the maximum height of the building that you can construct to understand all these aspects it is essential to understand the concept of floor space index how fsi is calculated What is the difference between FSI and FAR? What is premium FSI? What is the FSI in various important cities in India? What factors does FSI depend on? Is car parking included in FSI? Is balcony included in FSI? We will discuss all these questions in this video. So let us start. Floor space index it represents the ratio of the total floor area of a building to the size of the land on which it is built that is maximum permitted area on a piece of land for construction fsi is used to regulate the density of construction in a specific area fsi and far represent the same concept but are denoted differently far is expressed in decimals while fsi is presented as a percentage fsi is set based on the national building code and it is regulated by the municipal or local authorities of the state government the fsi can vary not only from one city to another but also within different localities of the same city before commencing any construction project builders are required to submit details of the proposed building to the respective zone for approval these details encompass information such as whether the building is intended for residential or commercial purposes its height and structure and the land area it will occupy several factors directly influence fsi with location being a primary consideration in areas with a metro system fsi tends to be higher due to limited space availability Conversely, FSI might be lower in rural areas where vast land is accessible for construction. The size of the plot also plays a role as some municipal authorities calculate higher FSIs for larger plots. Additionally, plots situated adjacent to roads typically have a higher FSI influenced by the width of the road. So let us understand FSI formula and its calculation. Let us consider a plot of land with an area of 5000 square feet. The local zoning regulations specify an FSI of 1.5. FSI is equal to total floor area of all floors divided by plot area. Total floor area is equal to 1.5 into 5000 square feet that is 7500 square feet. This implies that the developer can construct buildings with a total floor area of up to 7500 square feet on this 5000 square feet plot while adhering to the local regulations. In this 7500 square feet you can construct 3 floors of 2500 square feet or 2 floors of 3750 square feet or 4 floors of 1875 square feet. Now let us take an example of 0.5 FSI for a plot area of 5000 square feet. Total floor area is equal to 0.5 into 5000 square feet which is equal to 2500 square feet. With an FSI of 0.5 you can construct a total covered area of 2500 square feet on a 5000 square feet plot. This means that only half of the plot area can be utilized for construction as the FSI is lower. It indicates that you can construct two floors of 1250 square feet or three floors of 833 square feet. It is important to note that if the FSI is 1, it indicates that the whole plot is usable. If the value is lower than 1, then it indicates that a portion of the land is empty without construction however if the fsi value is above 1 then it means that there are multiple stories on the same plot so how many floors you can construct in a building 
Please note, FSI is not the only factor for deciding height of the building. It depends on several other factors such as zoning regulations, building codes, etc. This topic is so extensive that I have decided to split this video into two parts to ensure we cover everything in detail. In this first part, we have discussed concept of floor space index, its formula and calculation, and how many floors you can construct in a building. So friends, see you in the next part of this video. Thanks for watching.